Hello, my name is Mary. Welcome back for another video. Here on this channel, I love to talk about my fashion philosophy, which I'll hope that you find a little bit different than what you see anywhere else. I always want my clothing to be comfortable, practical, and or make me happy, any combination of the three or one of those options. The other day I went thrifting and I got some pretty good stuff. The thrift gods were definitely on my side. So before we get started, yes, I'm new to YouTube. No, you're not hallucinating. Yes, you should click the subscribe button and see where it takes you. It could be fun. But for today, let's go ahead and jump right in and talk about how I styled my newest thrift finds. Oftentimes with my videos, I'll have like a flow of thought, and that's kind of the same thing when it comes to dressing in my new thrift finds. It's more of a flow. I don't really have anything specifically set in my mind for how I'm going to style these clothes, but maybe I try on a pair of pants and it sparks a thought of, wow, I should put that with this cardigan that I own. And then once I have the cardigan on, I'm like, oh, maybe I should actually try it with this other pair of pants. As you know, if you've been with me on this channel for any amount of time, I love my Uniqlo parachute pants. I think they're comfortable. They're very practical. I don't like to carry a purse. So having all of those pockets for my keys and my wallet and any other trinkets that I may have on me at the moment is not just practical, but it's at this point in my life a necessity. I will oftentimes be found in my Uniqlo parachute cargo pants, and I paired it to get started with this video with something that was thrifted because the pants weren't thrifted, but I did go ahead and thrift this striped blue and cream top from the Goodwill bins. It's 100% cotton as per usual. I like natural fibers touching my body. I will wear polyester on occasion if it's practical because yes, the cargo pants in this video are made of polyester, but that's because pants get a little bit more wear and tear and polyester in some scenarios can last a bit longer than cotton or wool. I also paired this outfit with my Lululemon reversible bucket hat because it's spring baby and I don't want the sun in my eyes and it also helps keep the sun off my face as well. Then I went ahead and flowed on in to the top that I'm actually wearing. It's this white top that just has an abundance of absolutely delightful texture. I think it's visually stunning, but it's also fun to wear. It's not itchy and I think it brings an aspect of whimsy to an outfit that would otherwise be a little bit plain. You know, the t-shirt and the cargo pants, while very comfortable and practical, and it makes me happy because it's comfortable and practical, maybe lacks a little bit of whimsy that this top can bring to the outfit. So I went ahead and switched out the striped top for this whimsical textured white top that I thrifted. It also has a cowl neck, which I'm very attracted to in my wardrobe. So it was a definite yes to style with these pants and the bucket hat for sure. And then I wanted to go ahead and choose which pair of shoes I would wear with the outfit. And again, if you've been here for any amount of time, you know that I like my Adidas Tobacco Gruen suede shoes. I like them because they're a little bit different than the Sambas. And I will tell you, for me, they're a lot more comfortable. I tried on the Sambas and they were just terribly uncomfortable which is different than what I've heard people experience on the internet, but you know, to each their own. I like these brown ones. They have a little bit more flex than the rigid leather of the traditional Samba. And they're made from recycled materials from Adidas. So it's a win-win in my mind. I also like my Arizona Birkenstocks, but I went ahead and chose my Tobacco Gruen shoes because I've just, not been able to tear myself away from those just yet. I've been wearing them with every single outfit and I wasn't gonna change it up for this outfit. 
And then I wanted to add a little bit more texture and practicality with the scarf because here in Colorado, springs can be really cold in the morning and then they get a little bit warmer in the afternoon. So it's a perfect opportunity to add a scarf to your outfit and then later in the afternoon you can take it off and it helps you to regulate your temperature throughout the day without having to add a bulkier jacket for the warmth that you may need in the morning and then when you take the scarf off in the afternoon the, the additional coolness that you may need that and i think that it looks pretty cool with the texture of the top and then i thought you know i've got the scarf i've got the top I should add my floor length Eileen Fisher cardigan because we got to keep the flow going. We got to keep the texture going. As for the color, I wasn't sure if this look spoke to me in the color realm because it's a little bit too black and white for me, but you'll have to let me know what you think. Would you wear this cardigan without this outfit or would you ditch the cardigan? Honestly, it could be a practical thing too. If, if you're too cold, then I would say wear the cardigan, who cares what the colors look like. But as far as some of the other days go, when it comes to temperature, you might be able to choose whether or not you want the black and white look or whether or not you just want to tone it back a little. Like I said, I'm not sure. You're gonna have to let me know. Would you wear this cardigan with this outfit? Yes or no? I also thought I would try a different hat because just like my Adidas Tobacco Gruen shoes, I've been unable to wrench myself away from the Lululemon bucket hat. And so I tried to pair this outfit with my felt hat, but I didn't like it. It just wasn't it for me. My brain was definitely in the realm of the color white. I was being very inspired by the textured whimsical top. And during the same trip, I thrifted a pair of linen pants. They're originally from Target. They're partially linen and then partially some other synthetic material. But I actually find that they're really comfortable and flowy, which would keep the movement in the top flowing all the way down to the pants. And I think a monochromatic look is just so fun and delightful. And I oftentimes find myself gravitating towards a monochromatic look because then it takes away the question of, is it too black and white? Because it's monochromatic. <laughs> it can't be too black and white. And this was pretty much the exact moment where I decided to ditch the cardigan because I thought it was too black and white. And we were going to go ahead and pair the base of this outfit, the whimsical white top with the flowy white linen pants with a couple of different accessories. I went ahead and pulled out my silk scarf and the straw hat that I thrifted. Oh, and yeah, the pants had pockets. So that was pretty neat to find out at that moment as well. <laughs> Now, while the linen pants did have back pockets, I pictured this outfit in this moment as I was walking to the farmer's market on a spring day. And if you go to the farmer's market, you're gonna need a lot more room than just two back pockets. So I thought, why not pair it with my mushroom tote bag? It's practical, it's gonna fit a lot of things, and it's fucking cute. <laughs> Look at those mushrooms. <laughs> another happy dance <laughs> i thought it would be kind of a fun idea to pair this monochromatic look with a yet another white piece with this collared textured button down but i thought it was a little bit too short and it kind of cut off the outfit at a awkward length so i didn't end up finally pairing this button down top with this outfit and again, I thought the silk scarf made the outfit too black and white. So the final look ended up being the straw hat, the whimsical flowy top with the linen pants, the mushroom tote bag, and my Birkenstock Arizona sandals. I think that makes for a perfect Sunday farmer's market outfit. We're gonna get some flowers, we're gonna get some treats, we're gonna get some fresh fruit, we're gonna go home, lounge around in the outfit while eating said fresh fruit. <laughs>
I just imagine the peaches like dripping down my cheeks as I enjoy them. Oh, it sounds like a wonderful experience. While my brain was on the topic of farmer's market, I thought of this purple dress that I recently thrifted. And I thought, let's try to recreate another farmer's market outfit. However, whoever had this dress prior to me didn't properly wash it because the outer layer shrunk and the inner layer did not. Don't get mad at me, I did end up cutting the slip portion to be shorter than the outer layer portion. I still didn't really like it. I think it's the shape of the dress. I do think it needs to be a little bit longer to continue that flow from top to bottom to get the specific feel that I'm looking for when I am creating a farmer's market outfit, but that's okay. I mean, and also the color as well just wasn't something that I always gravitate towards. So I did my best. I went ahead and paired it with my Dansko clogs that I thrifted. And I think I even pinned my hair up with a clip as well. I also tried out the hat. At the end of the day, I think I'll go ahead and stick with the white farmer's market outfit instead of the purple dress farmer's market outfit. It just wasn't something that sang to my soul. It didn't make me happy. But I was in the same state of mind when it came to wanting to still style like a dress or a skirt or something like that. So I went ahead and gravitated towards my gray skirt that I recently thrifted. It's mid-length, I don't know, it's kind of a full length skirt there. And you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of those gray sweatpants that people wear with like the oversized t-shirts just to be comfortable. Normally at home, normally I don't see people out and about in said sweatpants. This skirt reminds me of that, but like elevated and also something I would wear out to, yeah, the farmer's market, you guessed it. <laughs> so I did actually want to pair this skirt with more of an oversized top. And if you don't know, like I don't even know what to say if you don't know, but I love cats. Like. I love cats, okay? So I wanted to pair this outfit with either of these two tops. These two tops, not thrifted, both from Japan. We have our black cat crew neck top, and then we have the little kitties on the sake boxes with the t-shirt. So I went ahead and tried on the t-shirt first, because like I was saying, I want a channel, I'm wearing sweatpants and a t-shirt but I'm gonna elevate it so that I can go out. I'd go ahead and pair that with my Patagonia Nano Puffer just to see because my Patagonia Nano Puffer is my tried and true and it is one of my most comfortable pieces that I often reach for. But because of the color it, and maybe the lack of some shape, it doesn't always go with everything that I try to pair it with. And while I did like it with this outfit, I thought there might be something a little bit better that I could pair with it, which you'll see a little bit later in the video. In this moment, I was trying to pick out which shoe to go with the outfit. The, these aren't actually Adidas Sambas, they are Adidas, but they're their skateboard shoe, which give a similar profile, but they're not as sleek as the Adida Tobacco Gruen shoes, which are we shocked? I did end up picking in the end. <laughs> I'm not shocked. They're more comfortable. I'm not going to defend myself. I'm, gonna, I'm here to be comfortable. I'm here to be practical. I'm here to be happy. And if anything else gets in the way of that, then I'm going to toss it to the side. I don't have time for that. Oh, the jacket. This is the jacket that I told you to wait for. So this is a thrifted fleece cat jacket and it was just perfect for the outfit along with my cat tote bag. We're cat on cat on cat, baby. It's cats, 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 cats. Everybody, cats. <laughs> I am obsessed, okay? I. They bring me great joy in my life. As you can see, I have my cat top, I have my cat Jackie, and I have my cat tote bag, baby. 
we're ready for anything. This doesn't just need to be a farmer's market. I would go to the grocery store like this. I would go to the river like this. I would go to the cat food store like this. You name it and I'll be rolling up in my uh, cat outfit, okay? Cat themed party, I'm there. I just need some cat pants. <laughs> I wanted to try this outfit on with some platform shoes because I like the chunkiness at the bottom portion of the outfit that platform shoes bring. It just is almost like a visual weight to the entire outfit. These shoes are Pumas that I got off Facebook Marketplace when I was in college like like 10 years ago actually and they're an entire size too small for me but I keep them because they're so pretty so trying them on in this video actually reminds me that I need to put them on my thrift wish list again so that I can get a pair that actually fits me because when a shoe doesn't fit you it's not comfortable and that goes against my philosophy and I just can't have that so they were really cute with the outfit, but I decided to go with my Tobacco Gruen shoes for the final look because they're comfortable. This look with the gray sweatpants had me actually thinking of actual sweatpants. And so I went ahead and pulled out my recently thrifted Adidas tracksuit pants because, you know, gray sweatpant lookalike skirt, actual Adidas sweatpants. See, see where my thought process was? And these sweatpants went really well with the cat top that I was already wearing along with the bucket hat for more of an active look, right? So you can't be 100% active in a skirt, but you can in these Adidas track pants. So that was a huge yes. And this one, unlike with the gray skirt, I did like my Patagonia men's nano puffer with it. Something about the black and the chartreuse yellow color went better together in my mind than the chartreuse with the gray. And it turned out really cool. I really liked it. This is an outfit that I would wear on a Sunday. If I'm gonna shoot over to the grocery store, maybe I'm baking in my house all day. Maybe I'm repotting some plants, tending to my plants. That is definitely something that I would wear this outfit to do. At this point in the video, I can see the absolute unadulterated, unfiltered happiness that is just emanating from me because I have some soft textures in the gray skirt. I have some fun visuals that bring me absolute joy and delight with the cat top and the cat crew neck. The textured top that I wore at the beginning of the video brought me a lot of joy with its whimsy and its texture and it's, it's just like I just want to get in there right like the top just like like I can feel the top when I see it I can feel the texture that it brings to the outfit and that also brought me that unadulterated, unfiltered, just pure joy. This top was new for me because I don't, I normally wear oversized tops and this one was a little bit more fitted. However, what drew me into this top was that it was sheer. I really liked that it was sheer and I liked the ruffles and the stripe down the front of the top as well. But as you'll see, I had no clue, and I still have no clue, how to style this top. I went ahead and styled it with the Adidas pants, which in the end turned out to be my favorite way to style it. I will go ahead and show you the other ways that I styled it, but I just didn't like it. I styled it with these very stretchy, I'm actually wearing them right now, they're very comfortable, these very stretchy black pleated pants. However, it seemed like the obvious choice to me and I really wanted to style this shirt in more of an unexpected way. This just seemed too obvious. So then I went ahead and tried to style it with my unique low wide fit blue jeans, but blue jeans with the black, it just wasn't it. I didn't like it. I even, I tried, I really tried. I even went ahead and put my suede waterproof loafers on with this outfit. It's 
all right, but it looks like I'm going to go to work at an office and I didn't like it. I don't want to go to work at an office. I want to go plant some plants. So after trying it on with the, with the blue jeans, I thought, okay, that's a little too uncomfortable. I'm going to dial it back in. We're going to be somewhere between Adidas pants and jeans. I like the idea of more of a flowy wide fit pant with this top, which I was trying to achieve with the jeans, but the jean color just didn't work with the top. So I thought we have something that's kind of in between, right? In these pants, they've got the larger, wider, flowier silhouette, but they've got the right color in the fact that they're black. I liked this outfit, but when I went ahead and watched this footage back, I visually think that I like the skinnier Adidas track pants with versus the wider ones. And quite frankly, I just gave up on styling that outfit or that top specifically because I couldn't find a way to style it. And that happens sometimes. So if you've got any ways you'd like me to style that top, you let me know in the comments and I'll try it out. I'm not thoroughly convinced it's something that I want to keep in my wardrobe though. At this point in the video, I was at the bottom of the barrel when it came to the things that I thrifted and I thought, you know, these pants are super comfortable and I know this dress that I own is super comfortable. So I'm going to pair two ultra comfy things together and just see how it looks. <laughs> I'm not upset. I would wear this. I, now that I'm looking back at this, wish that I had paired this with the floor length cardigan, but I didn't. So we maybe have to save that for another video. Speaking of comfortable, I thrifted these very fun shorts. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but they have patterns of butterflies and other whimsical, fun, jewel-toned caricatures or prints kind of on them. And I thought I'd like to wear these to some sort of music festival. And so that's the way that I styled this outfit. This outfit is pure, comfort and joy baby i'm sure some people watching this are like that's hideous you're pairing sandals with socks i'm gonna click off right now but listen again practicality and comfort you got the fanny pack for your snacks and your trinkets you got the sandals for the support of your feet you've got the flowy top and loose fitting shorts for dancing that's practical I personally really like the look of the outfit too, but if you don't, I'd understand it. For me, it's the comfort, you know? And again, sometimes I get a little chilly when I'm at shows, so I went ahead and paired it with my Nano puffer jacket as well. Then I kind of wrapped back around to the beginning. In the beginning, we started with a white top, and in the end, we're gonna end with a white top. I don't know if that was conscious or subconscious, but the last top that I wanted to try on was this sheer, I think it's an actual slip top, but I'm going to wear it as a top because I think it's comfortable. So I tried it on with these shorts to see if it was something that I even liked and I didn't. I didn't even continue styling that top with those shorts. But what I did do is I paired that top with the linen pants and remember the button down collared top that I tried on earlier? with the fun whimsical textured top. I brought it back because wow, it actually went super well with this tank top and these pants. So this is another outfit that I would either wear to the farmer's market, just out to the river, planting plants. I'd even wear this to a show as well, along with the Birkenstocks. It's super comfortable. And like I stated earlier, your girl loves a good monochromatic look. At any rate, that's the end of the video. That's all I have for you. I need to go ahead and clean up this mess so that I can go ahead and film our next video for next week. Go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell, like the video, all of the fun things so that you don't miss next week's video. It really helps me out when you do all of those things to grow my channel and create more videos for you. But until next time, I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.